this game this week, Philadelphia laying four and a half, five in some spots against Tampa. I, I already discussed how I like the Eagles laying the point. Like there, I know there are very respected people out there that took Tampa plus the points, and maybe that's why it's down to four and a half now. I just don't see it. Like the best unit on the field is the Eagles defense. Are we really expecting Baker Mayfield and that offense to be able to put up a bunch of points? Now, look, I am not an Eagles guy. I thought the Cowboys would win that division before the year, and certainly the Eagles have looked certainly less potent than they did last year. But I, I, I don't know. Like, I love bet. I love betting a terrible team in the NFL. I love taking the contrarian side, but. I don't know if I could get behind the the the, the Bucks plus the points here. I, I like Philly, but am I am I crazy, Sam, for like for liking the Eagles here? No, you're not. And that's a nice little snippet that you kind of dropped in there about Dallas to win the East. If you want to read about it, you can go to FoxSports.com. <laughs> Dallas at plus 110 to win the East. There's still that five game gauntlet later this season where Philly goes like Dallas, yep. Kansas, Buffalo. San Francisco, Dallas, and they're not going to survive that. So um, the other thing in this game in Philly, Tampa Bay, is you also have to think about Philly played on Thursday. So this is that extra rest, get all these guys that are nicked up, get them healthy, get them ready to go. And really laying under seven in this spot. Like I would lay five right now. I, I haven't really gotten there yet because I'm still trying to get my liquidity in order for Saturday for college football. But yeah. I probably should should get a piece of Philly minus five right now because that likely keeps climbing. We know that every straight bet, every money line parlay, all of these parlays are going to roll into Monday, and most of the public is going to use Philly in those plays. So, yeah, I, I think the ten day off is is great for Philly, and you know, yeah, they're lucky to be two and zero, but they're still two and zero. You know, let's not knock them for winning games against the Patriots and the Vikings, two teams that really do different things. The Patriots are really good defensively. The Vikings are really good offensively. Philly has taken a couple punches, but they've still taken care of business. I'm usually not one to think this way, like, oh, that's a trap line. I just think the line is what it is, and it's that way for a reason. But Bears, somebody who's bet this or will bet this, don't you feel like this is a little too easy with Philly? Hey, Philly minus four and a half. I, I don't know. It just it, it does feel, it does feel a little strange that it's this low. I don't know. Does it make you uneasy putting this bet in your bet slip? It, it, it does, and it did, especially knowing the people who are on Tampa in this game. But I, I just can't get what I've seen on the field out of my head. Like, speaking of easy, like, like w w what looks easier this week than Miami laying six and a half against Denver, Seattle laying six against Carolina? Like, like you talk about absolute – uh, the Lions minus three against Atlanta. The, those things all look like – trap kind of lines as well like this is a tread carefully i think kind of week in the nfl jeff well i feel like it always is <laughs> <laughs> yeah. we could be I, as evidenced by last week <laughs> there's nothing that uh there's, and, and remember too to make sure to check the lines throughout the week right because i i on this show i took the packers money line on thursday and then by saturday by sunday it was plus three yeah. right and so make sure that, that, that you track these lines because sometimes as you mentioned sammy and this could be four and a half now for eagles and maybe by kickoff it's near six or seven right so make sure that you kind of track on the lines as you, as you decide on, on where to go but the nfl is always full of these games you, you look at all these lines you're like wait that doesn't make sense to me and then a lot of times by sunday you're like oh it makes a little bit more sense to me and so um but i'm with you on the football part of this the eagles are better everywhere like where is tampa bay better than the Eagles. Like what position can you give me one position where you're like, you know what? This is the football advantage Tampa Bay has in this game. The answer is nowhere, nowhere. M maybe Mike Evans against the Eagles corners, but you, the Eagles have good core. I can't find a position where they're better than, than, uh, but Tampa Bay is hard to play at in this time of year. It's hotter than usual or, you know, across other places, but I'm with you in the Eagles. I think Eagles will win this game by touchdown. And yeah, let's also bear, let's think about what Tampa Week. They faced a Bears defense that was on quarterbacks two and three. One of the corners got hurt in that game, and then the safety got hurt. So it was just bombs away all day against a Bears defense that was on cornerbacks three and four, down to safety, and has no defensive line. I mean, that was like it was like just shooting fish in a barrel for Baker Mayfield. He had how many passing yards did he have? 350 or something like that? That's not gonna happen against Philly because there are gonna be guys in his face literally all night on Monday. Yeah, and, and you mentioned an injury, an unfortunate injury. Of course, we're going to look up on Sunday. It's going to, we're going to see 23-20 Tampa Bay final because that's how this ridiculously <laughs> is. But you mentioned injury. 
unfortunate injury on Monday night to Nick Chubb, which was awful and terrible for those of us who uh, have a lot of Browns futures and just awful for the league in general to lose uh, one of their best players. But I like the Browns this week laying the three and a half against Tennessee because I still think the Browns defense is, again, this is not going to be Tennessee up against the, the the Chargers defense from last week where they, they allow Tannehill just to throw all over him and complete a ridiculously high percentage of passes. I think you're going to see a little bit more of what you saw against the Saints, uh, a really good defense. So I like the Browns minus three and a half. And it, Will, you got any thoughts on the uh, on the Browns this week or maybe uh, a way to maybe take advantage of a market where the Browns might be involved in? I think he can even get a three. There's some threes starting to pop up. I think people see the trend. Brave was a dog, and he's been great as a dog straight up against the spread. You name it. Yep. That uh, that combined with the Chubb injury, combined with the fact that Watson really – I mean, he, we, when's the last time we've seen this guy play he's good football? Bad. It's been three or four years. He's looked really bad. But that being said, you know, you, you factor in home field, you're just saying these teams are like a point, point and a half apart. I think that's too much of a, an adjustment. Uh, I like the Browns here. I do think the Browns win. This is an important game for them because, you know, their schedule, the playing in that division is not going to be easy. You go to one and two, you're in some trouble, uh, especially with how well the Ravens are playing. So uh, I do like the Browns here. I think they get back on track. The under, I think, is juicy in this game because the Titans offense is not very good. We talked about that. In the, and Deshaun Watson hasn't played as well and, and no chub. The only thing about betting against the Titans, guys, I don't know if you feel this way. I just hate being on the other side of the Titans because of the way they play football, the way they're coached, the way they play defense, they kind of keep ball control on offense. Like I feel like every time I bet against the Titans bear, I just end up like wishing I had taken the other I side. I had them last week. I yeah. got on them late last week, which was good. Bear Bets full episodes drop twice a week right here on the Bear Bets YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe to stay ahead of the odds and let's celebrate all of our wins together.